place where the unreal becomes real. And we meet our ultimate fate. Let's go. Ooh. Uh oh. Okay. Ronin Warriors. Yo, what's going on you guys? It's your boy RBG, aka the Random Black Gamer. Here are my lovely wife Jenna Lee on the ones and twos, and this is We Ain't Seen Reactions, the place where we react to everything that we ain't never seen. And out of the shadows came an awesome sound. Shout at Kawabunga when they hit the ground. For TMNT 2012 reaction. That was us that shouted Kawabunga by I the way. I thought she was reciting some Shakespeare. Oh, well shit, I ain't gonna lie, that nigga was hitting Partners in Crime. You ever heard of Partners in Crime? T-U-R-T-L-E -E Power. Shakespeare was up in the turtles. I mean, Partners in Crime, he was Shakespearean with his words. They can't find the source to this deadly evil force. I heard the news. Give me a reporter. But no, guys, uh... Yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to listen to that song one day. And this was just descending into madness. <laughs> well, you know how I do, guys, but I know I'll be getting y'all y'all turtle senses all tingly when I hit y'all with them references and stuff, because y'all be knowing, man. That's why y'all the truth, for real. But yeah, guys, we are officially reacting to Season 2 of TMNT 2012. Last time we left off, it was an epic conclusion to the first season. A lot of crazy revelations and reveals and stuff like that. And a little bit of splash of heroicism with my man Leo, who always decides to sacrifice himself for his brothers, man. Right. So shout out to him, man. Brought me back to the uh, moment where he sacrificed himself in uh, Rise of the TMNT. Even though some of y'all be acting like some haters on this shit. You need to get with it because it's that deal. But yeah, um, we got a chance to see the mother Krang who wanted April's powers because for some reason she has a special link with the Earth. I'm not no, sure if she she's Gaia or Mary Sue. The Krong. Right. And they're secretly, I don't know, Krong materials. Yeah. I don't know what else to call it. Anyway, she was hearing the crane out of this ball. Right. And then she got kidnapped. Mm -hmm. And then she had her damn brain power sucked from her damn scalp. Uh, then they had to come save her. Right. I don't know if it's just me, y'all, but I'm kind of feeling Rise of the TMNT April a little bit more than I'm feeling this one because this one is always getting caught up in stuff. And she really hasn't just mastered her Konoichi style <laughs> just yet. She's not as capable as I would like her to be. So, yeah, I don't want her to be a damsel in distress that they always have to save at the end of each season. this april some slack because she did just get started learning all this stuff yeah my lips look so weird on this camera hey mine's do too your lips look tasty and delish anyway i want to cut this april some slack because you know she did just get started she did just kind of get thrown into this but i mean that's how april always happens though i think the april in rise of the teenage mutant ninja turtles i think then did the series start with them already knowing april um in the original no, in the Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. Show. Yeah, I think she was already cool with them because it was. Maybe um, that's why. Right. It's, you know, because in the other, in the movie we watched, April was holding her own. Okay, she didn't need no man. No. Man. Right. She no seriously on the serious side though. She was holding her own. You know, she was beating down Crane with a crane, literally. Uh, I thought that was pretty funny how they did that in that movie. Mm -hmm. Um. This April is always being kidnapped, but she does try. She tries her best. She's very that. investigative. I, I'll say that. She much. is. She always up in some shit she ain't got no business in, but she do be helping out the turtles, and she's there for uh, uh, Donatello to look at. So even though she mm -hmm. looked crazy as hell, right? But uh, yeah, um, it seems like now that everything has officially been established and we've gotten past that foray of this new universe of the turtles. It's now to just, you know, it's now time to just expand and probably just tackle territory that was left open, you know. Right, we didn't, and at the end of the last episode of the last season, it looked like what they thought they resolved wasn't quite resolved anyway, so. Right, yeah, the Technodrome is still active except it's mm -hmm. underwater, so let's go ahead and see what the Turtle Bros are up to and see if they're still celebrating their so-called victory that they think they got. Who saved the world? Right, so this is going to be episode one of season two titled The Mutation Situation. Oh shit, to my situation from Jersey Shore. Oh, we got a mutation God. situation on our hands. So let's do this. Great to see you. Uh, yeah, uh, you mind staying on the fire escape? Seems like you've been avoiding us lately, April. It's not my fault. Dad's alien abduction nightmares are getting worse. He's so freaked out he won't let me out at night. 
I'm sorry, April. It's just... What if the Krang are still out there? Waiting. Working. Stalking. to protect you. Dad... I can take April's care of myself now. So weird. He do. I couldn't be more They just stressed this man out so much he lost whatever hair he had on his head, man. Trust us, Mr. Shredder and those little squishy brain freaks are long gone. Kawabunga forever. I see what you did there, Mikey. Just don't get your shell undies in a tangle, Donnie. The crang are toast. Yeah, lighten up, dude. This is a party! <laughs> <laughs> My sons. I know you are still joyous in the defeat of our enemies, but the great question remains. What if cupcakes could talk? Mm. Are our enemies truly defeated? The Shredder is a crafty and patient foe who bides his time. But Sensei, you said Shredder lost whatever sense of honor he had left. We'd never see him again. Yeah, and if he shows up, we got it all taken care of. Might want to tell him the truth. Right. Tomorrow, you four have become lazy, overconfident. You shut your training. This party ends now. <laughs> Maybe we are getting too cocky. Ha! It's not cockiness when you got the skills to kick massive. Whoa! Oh, I didn't think to bring this shit up in there. That thing's working again. It's been quiet for weeks. It must have received an incoming signal, which can mean only. One thing. Cupcakes kids. Bruh. <laughs> Go away. I guess the party really is on. Mutagen cupcakes probably can talk. You probably got a point there. Because they did touch <laughs> eggs and stuff before being made, right? The encryption's tough to crack, but it seems like the Krang are transporting some kind of cargo. <gasps> Using the stealth ship. We gotta find out what that cargo is. So, how do we track a ship that turns completely yes, invisible? We cover it in honey so it attracts bees. That dude is then so bees. That is. He can't even talk. We track it with this. It's aligned to the radar dishes we place throughout the city. Yeah, we create a triangle <laughs> right. English, Professor Brainyoff. It's like Nintendo is ready to sue y'all. That Krang spaceship. It's kind of late for a school project, don't you think? It's, um, extra credit, Dad. We're, we're tracking, uh, pigeon migration. <laughs> yeah. Girl. Wow. What is going on here? Uh-oh. Is that the crying? <laughs> <laughs> Just pass right by the ass now. This is it. If we explode, I swear I'll slap the green on you. Hmm. Damn! Oh, get away, away! Uh oh, Batman style. That's cool. Wow. We found the ship. What about the rocket? <laughs> Did y'all y'all just gonna leave the crash in the ground? I guess so. And kill everybody below. It's trash anyway. A trash man will pick it up. It is the ones who call themselves the turtles. Crank, we must alert Crank. Ha! Three little floating blobs of brains. That's it. But we can take these guys in our sleep. <laughs> we can take these guys in our sleep and with our eyes closed. <laughs> Sewer apples. Uh, Who is sewer that? apples. All right. Harry and the Hendersons in the house. Oh, he's gonna get on top of me. What? Nipple sauce. Maybe we were a little cocky. Nipple sauce. <laughs> That's what his name should be. Nip. Nip tuck. Damn. This thing's too tough. Oh, I got this. <laughs> you know, they was fighting the crane on that damn roof on that uh, techno He was doing a little spin. Think it back, he Zang Geef from Street Fighter. Uh oh. Oh yeah, it's gonna be a whole mutagen mutant bargain sale. Wow, so beautiful. Move! I hate when characters sit there. Yeah, let me just stand there. 
Oh my god, April, how could you? It's your fault. I'm sorry. Now he's gonna turn into a fucking bat. How convenient. She pulled him into that shit. She did. Man bat. Was that a real character? No, that's a, a character from Batman. That's Bat Dad right there, I guess. Man, he ugly. All that mutagen? You two are the biggest screw ups ever. Well, you could have grabbed one single cat. That's a pickle. That's a way to start the season. Poor man just wanted to watch his damn cable safely. That must be the soft spot. Oh my god, really? Spy Troy, engage. That's just a. Yeah. Yeah, twerk that ass. Yeah. <laughs> this is so wrong. It's got nipple, mm. sauce, and butt cannons. <laughs> oh, too I'm much sorry, shit. Sorry, I can't even feel bad for you. Nice. Sorry, Dad. Sorry, Dad. <laughs> Nice. That also reminds you know, like me of the movie. Chris Brad for into right. Also puts me in mind of the 2016 movie when uh, Donnie had to pilot that plane yeah. with his staff. Hey, 360. Can't y'all just hit the damn crane? There you go. There you go. You did this to me. <laughs> Jeepers Creepers style. Guys, I think that mutant was Mr. O'Neill. How could you tell? You see many giant red bearded middle aged bats lately? I ain't lying. He should have his own show. Red bearded right? middle aged bats. Y'all must think Sensei is dumb. Ooh, right. It's so simple. It's brilliant. What, what do bats, bats eat? eat? Rodents and other small invertebrates. Uh, fruit. Oh, fruit. Yeah. And bugs. The bigger yeah. the better. So where are we going to find a huge Rodents. Bug? Okay, so you splinter his face. Fly costume pulls on the patrol, Buzz Buzz. Mm. These bug guys fly every crime, Buzz Buzz. Hey. Will you stop saying Buzz Buzz after every sentence? I could do that, Buzz Buzz, but I probably won't, Buzz Buzz. Boy, as a troll, if I've ever seen one. Raph, shake Mikey around a bit more. He needs to mimic a fly's flight pattern. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> It's like, oh, real food. That's kind of cool, I guess. Right? We don't want to hurt you. We want to help. How come the turtles can talk? I guess because they touched a human. I mean, they were babies too, so they had plenty of time to develop. Maybe he was a grown man who already knew how to talk. I know, I'm talking about as a, a mutant though, as a mutated thing. But Chris Bradford and uh, the dude can talk. I guess it just depends, you know. Did you turn into a plant talk? Then also depends on the species of the animal too, probably. I know it ain't no talking plants. Mm. I guess they just decide when they decide. <laughs> Little yo-yo yeah, ref. Take that. Bully <laughs> Mikey. Yeah, they got to come with a lot of cures. Sorry, Kirby. It's only temporary. 
Yo, we did it, Don. We caught the curvy back. Hey. Oh, Mikey. The curvinator. Dad. Dad. What are we going to do with him? I mean, keep him caged forever? Feed him a steady diet of mice and flies? Mm -hmm. Actually, bats love moths and spiders, too. So <laughs> Sorry. Maybe an so insect pizza. If I hadn't lied to Dad. Listen, don't blame yourself, April. It was our fault. We spilled the mutagen. We'll fix it. What? Wow, nigga. You guys spilled? Way to spill the fucking yeah. mutagen, Mikey. We accidentally unleashed all that mutagen all over the city. But get him back there. You worry. did this to me? We'll get it back. You. You. Mikey is the dumbest Sweet. person my on any show. Yeah. You. you mutated my father! <laughs> Somebody's gonna get fucked up. Wow. Dad! <laughs> Mikey is an idiot. <laughs> uh, don't! Don't touch me! You keep away from me! I never wanna see your faces ever again! Hey, bro! Let her go, man. Well, you know you can't fix it by Get yourself, April. Space. You know you're gonna be back. Right. You gonna be coming back asking us for help Something. and support. Where is my mutagen creature? The complications became overly complicated. The ones known as the turtles stopped the ship. Craig will make amends. Ah! Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Craig said we're gonna make amends. Peace. Goodbye. It's time to expand my army on my own. You think you can this do it? This is all very grave news. Very grave indeed. I can't believe this is happening. Poor April. Do not dwell on the past. You must find every last canister of mutagen. You must search every street. Every park. Every strip world. club. Every building. Every wing stop. Before we have even more mutants on our hands. Uh oh, a squirrel mutant. Right. Wait, man, it's a new all uh, slurm. <laughs> Turtle man. Bro, do you recognize I mean, that meme? Man. Squirrel man. You remember that meme with the serious squirrel that would stare at the camera like? They had just showed him in that episode of South Park where the squirrel stared at people and made their heads explode. Like they had all the people from internet yeah, culture. Yeah. Yeah, that's for yeah, what that's funny. from. But guys, that was episode one titled The Mutation Situation, man. It's definitely a situation at hand for New York right now because there's all kinds of TCRI canisters just scattered throughout the city. And whoever touch them, Lord be with them. And hopefully they got a cool species that they'll turn into. But other than that, man, it's a lot of work for the Turtle Bros to handle. Not only do they need to help that, they also need to try to make up for April and let her know that, hey, they're going to take care of it, man. What you think about this episode? Oh, well, I think it's a great way to start the season off, actually. It's like, that's a pretty big task. All those canisters that wasted and y'all gotta go find them all. So, yeah, yeah, that's, that's a lot. But it's like technically not, their, it, it's not completely their fault. It's not. Because if the crane hadn't have been, if Shredder hadn't have asked for that shit, the crane wouldn't be transported and the turtles wouldn't have had any reason to go up there and stop them. So, you know. Yeah, but the thing that get me is like April act like she didn't want this shit to go on until, you know, like trying to invade the crane ship and stuff. It's like she tricked her dad into helping her, which is why her dad was even there. Right. If she had to stay her ass at home where her dad told her to be, then none of this would have happened. Exactly. But, you know, nobody in those type of situations, nobody likes to take personal accountability. It's all about what can I blame you for? Because I feel too bad to blame myself. It's like, man, I am missing married with children right now. You gotta hurry up. Yeah, I like that he can still fight, though. I nice. Like that. rat a tat tat on that ass. I say scat. Don't turn right. Whoa, I think I just got shell lashed. <laughs> the fuck is wrong with you, Mikey? Hey, Mikey, you want to stop reading your comics and pay attention to the mission? 
<laughs> hey, that comic's in mint, ah, near <clears throat> mint condition. Don't mess it up. Great, really? another horror story. Guess who's gonna be up all night again? What? I paid no. money for peeing. I was up all night because I yeah. was. So he probably be having my you know, accidents and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Right. Seriously, Mikey. A little turtle what accidents. Was good for other than freaking you out and got one. Stop here. Tricks and costumes. Remember, mm. this might be another trap, so we need to be careful. Must have met Nate. <sighs> Uh, Nigga, put the guys over here. It's half empty, but one more mutagen canister recovered. I didn't. That sound too deep to be his voice. I thought, hey, that sound more like Tyrese. <laughs> what do you want from me? Why is that dude afraid of a cute, tiny little squirrel? <laughs> Wow. No! The fuck? Now can I scream it? <laughs> what? Wanna guess the first thing the crew did when they brought the guy back on the spaceship? I bet you everything he reads out of that thing is gonna manifest in the reality. Just like what's the name show? I bet you that's what it is this this season. Oh yeah. Instead of Leo's show, it's Mikey's comics. Yeah. Okay, we're cool. But let's try to get this guy out of here before Master Splinter is done meditating. He's stinking up at? the layer. Running an internal scan right now to see if... Yep, still in there. Oh, wow, Whoa. it's replicating. Wait, does it have two heads? All right, guys. If you need me, I'll be beating Leo's high score in pinball. Hey, 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 what's play? <laughs> I think wow. that creepy squirrel made him a little nutty. Dudes, I got this. I can totally translate crazy. <laughs> He's saying, the squirrel licked some ooze and transformed into a mutant. It's been chasing me for days now, but I'm totally okay. If by okay, you mean totally insane. Well, at least no one will believe a crazy guy. If he Mikey can speak crackhead? Living in a sewer. I would imagine he'd be the one. <laughs> Please don't pop out of his <laughs> My God! This, this is unprecedented. The squirrels replicate inside a host. I mean, what happened in my comic? Well, not exactly. They exploded out of the dude's butt. Quick! <laughs> 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 help me seal off the lair. We can't let him escape. Well, I don't exactly want him in here with us. <laughs> Get him back, you little gut lever! <laughs> Too late for that. <laughs> Shit. Somebody always got to down. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you want to smoke? You want all the smoke and nuts with me, nigga? Yeah, there they go. Operation Nut Job in full effect. Yeah, you probably gonna be able to stop the shit. Switch to airplane mode on them. They gonna be up in there making all kinds of noise. I know he can hear you. That damn tree. He gonna think that's supposed to be his house. Right. Jeez, Mikey, when's the last time you cleaned? <laughs> and since when did you start wearing tidy whities Yeah. <laughs> That, my friend, is a story for another day. I like they got doo doo stains in squirrels, them. It looked like they had a lot of things. Uh-uh. Oh, wow. sweet. Awesome idea. I just impressed myself. Here, squirrel, squirrel, squirrel. Come get it. Dude, Mikey is something else. Mikey is. I don't even know which way to describe him. Here you go, squirrel. Have a tiny bite. Nice. You hope the kid will go away. What is going on in here? <laughs> I was in a deep meditative trance trying to block out your constant noise and... Is that a chipmunk? Uh, it's um, a, a squirrel, Sensei. A dangerous mutant squirrel that reproduces inside stomachs. You should have been in a deeper trance. Mm. Mm. 
man, look at Splinter. You always have here for a short time, my distant cousin. Until we can find out more about you. The squirrel! <laughs> there you are! <laughs> oh man, it's a collector's Welcome edition. Limited edition action kit unicorn man. Unicorn man. There's action kit unicorn man. I'm pretty sure you borrowed that from Sid from Toy Story. Do these things bite? <gasps> Come on, dude! He had any sense, he'll just chomp down and sever that motherfucker in half. It's in my guts! I can feel it in there munching on that popcorn I ate! It's freaking me out, man! If you were smart, because I can't hear y'all would have like a bag or something this. over his oh, face so when he's throw the damn there. thing up. Let's see. Right now, right now, immune squirrel is probably secreting a mucus into your stomach lining so that when it multiplies. Oh. Mikey, not helping. Get ready to catch him. Rose? Now, if they had any sense, they'll cover their fucking mouths with something. I bet they're even more enhanced. I don't know why they let that happen. Donnie, Donnie, some sciencey stuff would be a big help right now. <laughs> the fuck? is real bad. I see it's happening here as well. These things are putting out a crazy energy signature. Got radiation. My analyzer. We're doomed. Doomed, I tell you. <laughs> what are you doing? Why well, could have shot you? you? Thought you need backup. Uh, there was a sound just like that in my comic when the baby aliens transformed into giant alienoids. Wait, you read it in a comic. How can it sound the same? Sweet mother me. The fuck is that? They've turned into the two Squirreloids. Wow, y'all really they did it. Those are fucking squirrelomorphs or xenomorphs. Oh no. From yeah. Alien. <laughs> but they can fly now? Man, Splinter! Oh my God! Right, uh, Splinter be doing the damn thing. Yes, take advantage of their weak points. Man, these things are real too. If those things get out, go then quickly. I will stay to defend the lair in case the beasts double back. Which means we have to go after them alone in the dark sewer without you. Who among you wants to prove you are the bravest, the strongest of will, the worthiest of ninjas? Now me. Just throwing this out there. What are we supposed to do when we find these squirrelanoid Kill them. Don't worry. They'll find us. You always know just the right thing to say. I'm picking up strong readings from both tunnels. Then we split up. Again? Didn't you guys get... But this time in teams, okay? <laughs> it's still splitting up. We're totally Please don't put Donnie Game and Mikey over, together. You know Game they are. Over. Right? <laughs> the last squirrels of us. Oh, yeah, it's you. Wow. <laughs> I think it's like four of them or something. Like three or four. I think it's three though. You crack our shells like nuts. <laughs> Might as well go down in a blaze of glory. Yeah! Let's go. Get that sternum action, boy. My stick game always been on point. There you go. <laughs> it's like we don't we don't need no Sigourney Weaver to handle y'all mofos. Hey, super punch! They get that Roman Reigns on it. Yeah. Didn't? 
they're probably easier to beat that way, actually, because now they're not some small right. things you have to chase around. You can actually beat them up. How does the sole survivor beat the aliens? It was so awesome! He baited the alien into an airlock, and then he... Oh! Really? Did he just bail on us? Right, nigga just... Got a plan. <laughs> Let a go ninja, go ninja, go! I always like it when Mikey has a plan. I do too, cause he always come through. Get your shells kicked, guys. You better do something. Popcorn. Wow. Son, <laughs> well, you got that good movie house over there. Right, man, that shit hard to come by nowadays. Come and get it. <laughs> I'm probably gonna flush their ass away. <laughs> I hope you don't clog up my toilet. Wow, really? Come on, Mike. There you go. <laughs> I got you. We all do. Yeah, I was wondering. How really? He said, I ain't going out without that popcorn. <laughs> Now, I need some turtle to wash down this popcorn. Hold on now. Phew. The septic tanks down below should hold those creeps. At least until I can figure out a retro mutagen to turn them back. I'm glad you didn't get flushed, little brother. You and me both, bro. I can't believe I didn't think of it. Well, you did. Not everyone can be <laughs> the brains of the outfit. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, man. That's why you the iconic turtle. What if one of those creatures manages to escape? No right. worries, Sensei. Those giant nut-loving freaks are gone for no, good. No, they're not. Every time they think um, someone's gone actually, for good, they a are. bunch of sequel comics came out. The aliens come back. <laughs> <laughs> Alienoids. Ugh. This dude. He looked course. right for the eating too. For real, they're gonna go up his ass. <laughs> Why would you? Okay, bro. You might need. Yeah, he's disgusting. Okay. Maybe he ain't. No, oh, you got a job. You gotta be able to buy something. <laughs> <laughs> but guys, that was episode three or episode two, Invasion of the Squirrel Noids. Man, I knew they was gonna tackle that kind of genre again. You know, it's nothing new specifically to this iteration of the turtles, but it's just cool how they put their own spin on things. One thing that I will say, this kind of reminds me of a classic episode from the 87 cartoon where they had the pizza aliens, where they had these alien things. I don't know if it was some spores that they put on a pizza and when they heated them up, the pizzas transformed into like these xenomorphic characters. Oh. Kind of like how these things were. That's what it puts me in the mind of. But it was a fun episode, I though. I remember that now. Evil pizza from Jimmy Neutron. Oh, the evil pizza from Jimmy <laughs> I ain't seen Jimmy Neutron. I don't know how long. <laughs> Shit, me either. But I remember that evil pizza, though. Um... <laughs> Yeah, that was a pretty good one actually, and Mikey was right. And just as I, at least for this anyway, this episode, I suspected that his comic book would be like An the instruction cartoon manual and shit for how Leo used to watch the little space cartoon, and that's how basically from watching that, that's what the episode would be about. And now it's like, oh well, it's comic book. That's what the episode's gonna be about. Right. But it was a really good episode. Yeah, that was great, man. Like, I really am enjoying the dynamic between these brothers. And I yeah. like how they're bringing more of this shit back to the lair, which makes it all the more funner because you get to see them really try to stop these threats and stuff because they don't want anything tampering with their they base of operations and getting right. them caught up. Right. So, yeah, like I said, it's probably going to be more double the uh, mutant of the week formula, mm -hmm. which I'm not. I'm not mad at it at all. You know, I think Shredder needs to be put on hiatus from things every now and then. And yeah, they, if it was him every single episode, it wouldn't be right. that much fun to watch. Yeah, and this gives us more opportunities to see characters from the expansive Turtle lore, you know, whether it be the 
toys that never saw the light of day on the cartoons or some comic book characters that you know never really made it in the cartoon format so yeah man i'm all for that mm -hmm. but anyways that's gonna do it for us today man we hope you enjoyed this reaction because as always we have a blast reacting to these things with you and for you damn it if there's anything that we may have missed or got missed or screwed be sure to provide the proper context in the comment section below without spoiling us please don't spoil us i still can't get over y'all spoiling rise for me man Right? It's like, react to it, react to it. Because when you react to it, what you're going to find out is like, man, all. you know this, but they connected to each other by such and such and all this other stuff. Like, God damn, like, man. I don't want to watch it now. You know, like, what happened? Yeah, it's like, what good is it going to do us if we react to something and y'all expect us to react a certain way, but we already know because y'all spoiled the damn plot for us. But yeah, man, minor rating aside, this is your boy RBG, <laughs> aka the Ratting Black Gamer. Here are my lovely wife who just spit on my arm. We ain't seen the reactions. The place where we react to everything we've never seen. We'll catch you guys in the next reaction to TMNT 2012 Season 2. Peace!